Hey everybody, welcome back to our full lore playthrough here on the Shadow Priest and the War Within. Thank you guys for clicking on the video and joining me here today. I do appreciate it, and I hope everybody is doing well. We are looking for Night Order Propaganda. And we have to find Anduin and Illyria, and we have to find Faerun in the Armory. Let's visit them first before we do too much else. Because it says optional, so I kind of worry that we could turn it in without seeing this. We are a light in the darkness. Don't give in to fear. Farron! I was inspired last Belladar Shadow. I designed a new arm prosthetic. I think you'll wear this one. Thank you, Rain. But the shield you made me is all I need. I'm sure your talents would be better spent on other inventions. It's my pleasure to make a new arm you would use, Farron. You told me about the discomfort and how it impacted your mobility. So I was thinking... Rain? No. I have lived with my injury since I was a child. I've learned to do everything from sword fighting to dressing myself with one hand. But what if I figured out the weight balancing? You said that was what you didn't like about the first few I made. Then I think some of our veterans who will lose an arm to the Nerubians will be very grateful that you've improved the design. Rain, I've learned to navigate my life without a prosthetic. I don't want to relearn everything, but if you want to improve something of mine, a better shock absorber on the shield would be a blessing of the flame. Those Nerubians are getting bigger, and it puts all that weight on the shoulder. Oh yeah? Hmm. That's a tough one. Let me sketch out some ideas and get some measurements. I think that'll be an interesting project. Thanks, Baron. Keep up your work. Everyone on the front line appreciates the new kit upgrades. My arrow strike true. I will not fail again. I wish you had heeded my warning and stayed in Dornagal. She is here, Anduin. The Arathi are in danger. We are in danger. I needed to see if there were really descendants of the Arathi down here. I'm the King of Stormwind. So many human kingdoms have fallen. I needed to know if there were others. It was still a foolish risk. You're not the only one grappling with the voices in their head! What have you been hearing? Belladar, the Emperor's vision. That prophecy that drew them here, it's the radiant song I'm hearing. You have been hearing the star? Yes. No, not really. When I saw Belladar for the first time, I had the vision again. It's related somehow. I wish Khadgar were here. He'd know what it all meant. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... No. You're right. I wish he was here as well. We'll have to find our own answers. I've gotten a look at the crystals in their key flames. It's not Azerite, but it's close enough that I think they're connected. Then you've realized when Belladar shifted for the first time? Their day of darkness. The same day Sargeras oh. plunged that sword into Azeroth. Okay. That's interesting. Scrawlings of the Order of Night, you see mentions of the Harbinger. Death comes to Halifa. The Harbinger will protect you. Prostrate yourself before her and beg her protection. Only she can save us. Only through her can the Arathi people flourish. Prostrate yourself before it is too late.
Meet Oralia, our quartermaster. I'm also proud to call her my daughter. For the Empire. I pray for the flame to show us the way. Our holy mission takes a toll. We are surrounded by danger. Aralia, send a runner to Farron's new elf friend. We need to talk. Uh, your Farron skills in combat are impressive. The void. We are rotating our next round of reserves into active going duty. To meeting her or thank the flame. All right, so we have to help them train some of the recruits. You carry your torch, you light the city. <laughs> Greetings, outsider. We are the seekers of light. We burn brightly together. Step into the light. The flame burns for all of us. Veladar, shift in your favor. We are the Seekers of Light. The Harbinger is from the Black Empire? Flames. One of the old gods? No. Something else. A survivor from the depths of time. I would safeguard my people. Caution is warranted. I still need more time with Illyria to learn about Zalatath. What I have learned is very worrying. Farron sent word that she was going to the orphanage and asked you to meet her there. She often entertains the children while she is in Meraldar. I doubt she would appreciate you doing the same. We are surrounded by Farron's at the orphanage. She was the first child to call it home. She visits whenever she can. This land was not what we expected. The darkness comes. Walk with me for a bit, outsider. I assume Farron has told you of how we came to this strange land. The Emperor's vision. A prophecy of light, battle, and victory. For the Arathi and the Sacred Flame. I was newly raised to my position. Being entrusted to seek out an Imperial prophecy was a great honor. Our armada braved the storming sea and its impassable tempest. I thought that final storm was sure to scuttle every airship. Instead, there was a radiant flash. The Emperor's vision, exactly as he had foreseen. The light transported us beneath the surface of Azeroth. But still under the light of this star we named Belladar. So many died as the Armada crashed into the cliffs. We thought the eternal flame of Erethor snuffed out that day. Then, as we labored to rescue this stowaway child, Farron, we discovered that she had preserved embers of the flame at risk to her own life. Brave fool. Yet I'm eternally grateful that she held on to that symbol of hope. Don't tell her I said that. <laughs> Years later, there was a great rumble. We thought the cavern was going to collapse. It was the day of darkness. The first time Belladar shifted to shadow. We had put down roots by then. My soldiers left to make homes for themselves. They started families. Flames, help me. There are children now. I 
I've had too many years of defending against the monsters that go bump in the night. Great Chiron and their lamplighters guided us through the darkness. But like Farron, they mistake saving for safeguarding. My people are brave and strong, but they are not all flame-blessed heroes. I know exactly how many soldiers we lose to the dark. If we play it safe, we might survive long enough for me to put my grandchildren on the front line. I welcome you, outsider. I hope your people's arrival and the Earthen's reunification means better days for Meraldar. But I fear we have just made ourselves a bigger target for the dark. I like it when the star shines. What are you? Are you from above? We're playing some kind of game of hot and cold, and I, I don't get it. I am not a fan of mini games in World of Warcraft, it turns out. Uh, is there anything simpler we can do? Oh, there we go. We just maybe we had to catch them. Either way, uh, that is quest complete. When shadow falls, lamplight is rise. Welcome to the orphanage. When we arrived, I was the only child. They founded this for me. I'm not quite sure how Siegfried put up with me. I was quite rambunctious. I love coming here when I'm in town, despite everything, the kids are so bright and happy. If you are lost in darkness, we are here to help. That's the warning bells at the main gate. Children, inside! I will see you through the shadow. Those bells mean Meraldar is under attack. Let's go to the gates and find out what's going on. In my heart, Meraldar's under attack. Children, stay inside. The Kobis strike our veneration grounds during Belladar's light. How? Look, General. Darkfire. This is Auric's doing. A lamplighter brings hope. Be strong, my friend. We carry the flame into the unknown. We must rely on outsiders to We need save to take the life. veneration grounds back from the Cobus, push them back and pave a bloody path through them. We need to stop whatever is happening at the Eternal Flame. If they manage to corrupt it like they did at the Tower, I don't even want to imagine what will happen. Our holy mission takes a toll. 
I can sense three beacons of void ahead, all funneling their power into one massive font of darkness. You will need to kill them. With them dead, I can bring down the shield. They will not escape. Arathi, push back the Kobis! Make them regret ever stepping onto our hallowed lands! The Harbinger manipulates the Kobus through their hunger, and the Arathi through their fear. Violence! Yes, yes, night falls! Renalas begins! I notice I'm getting jumped by a bazillion elites now. I'm sure that's intended. All right, let's try to just not fight a bunch of elites. Let's find some of the normal guys to kill. Join me in the shadows. Bring the Harbinger joy! Taken from the Rage Fin Necromages, this, this thrums with power. Perhaps it could be used to turn the tables on the Cobus.
Alric's ritual is the source of this darkness. We need to break through this barrier. What have you learned? He draws strength from the darkness. So do I. I would safeguard my people. The day of darkness changed everything. Beladar has turned to shadow. We must retreat back to Meraldar. No, we need to destroy Alric first. Take him down, then we retreat. We lose so many to the darkness. I am on the hunt. Alric thinks the shadows will save him. He should see what true power looks like. Now! Go for the kill! The Harbinger spoke of you. She has taken an interest in you. Harbinger! Do not forsake me! How could any Arathi be in league with such monsters? The sacred flame is lost. Fall back! No. We cannot keep retreating from the darkness. Our fear has overshadowed our faith. Belladar may have guided us, but it is not what will save us. Stand with me against the Shadow. Show this Harbinger the true strength of the Arathi. And if you fall against the darkness, what will we do then? It's what we always say, General. The light will return. Even if someone else carries the torch. We are the seekers of light. We are the holders of hope. In the very heart of shadow. Together, we guide the way. I search each day for a winning strategy. Our veneration grounds have been desecrated, its beauty marred. It's going to take a bigger effort, but I would appreciate anything you can do to clean up our grounds. Caution is warranted. We cannot hide from evil. That was too close. This attack took a toll on all of us. We have many injured and many shaken. Can you check in with people, see how they're doing? A beacon in the dark. We are far from the Empire. We lose so many. When I saw the depths of Alric's betrayal, I lost hope. I retreated. Flames! The Cobus would have taken Meraldar. What can I do? What Farron said, it got me thinking. Perhaps I've been wrong about what the Light wants from me. My faith kindles my Hilaria. What happened? For years I've held back the void within me, worried I'd hurt my loved ones. When Dalaran fell, I didn't draw on my power, and someone dear to me paid the price. Like Alric, Zalata thinks herself safe behind layers of shadow. She isn't. Not when I can turn their own power against her. I will do all it takes to end her threat for good.
Sacred Flame guide your way, friend. Always be prepared. Greetings, outsider. Sacred Flame guide your way, friend. Stay productive in the light, vigilant in the night. You carry your torch, you light the city. The flame burns for all of us. Step into the light. Arathi, friends, the flame blesses us with victory. Your courage against the dark has saved the day. I pray for the flame to show us the way. We are surrounded by dangers. We must rely on- General, the Nerubians. They've opened a new front and lights rid out. We owe our service to those in need. Just before the Cobus attack, we received word of a disturbance near Livia's patients. Now we know the cause. Light, we can't survive fighting on two fronts. We have to stop this now. Our holy mission takes flames. Harathi, mount up! Light's redoubt calls for help. We bring hope into the darkness! Livia's patience is overrun. We must buy the villagers time before the Reckoning can launch. This land was not what we expected. The day of darkness changed everything. They tunneled up through the lake bed. Livia's patience has already fallen. The darkness comes. We are prepared. We need time to get the Reckoning ready. Take your friends and hold back the Nerubians for as long as you can. They deserve nothing but death for what they've done to our people. Caution is warranted. We are a light in the darkness. We have to try to save any of our people left alive in Livia's patience. Every Arathi is or was a member of the military. If you can help them, they'll be able to help themselves. If you are lost in darkness... Stalwarts! We are the wall today! Together we will stand against the darkness! We need to evacuate the villages before the Reckoning's bombardment. We are the holders of hope.
We are the holders of hope. the warmth of the sacred flame. There is always hope if we choose to look for it. Outsiders are a welcome. Everyone is evacuated. The Nerubians are massing for another assault. Fall back! Quickly! Before the Nerubians overwhelm us. We cannot hide from evil. When shadow falls, lamplighters rise. The reckoning is ready. Let's make these spiders pay blood for blood. In my heart, there is fire. We have to get out of here, now! Where's Anduin? Carries the torch. Edwin! No! Curse them all! Where did they take him? Do you see Anduin? They dragged him down! I lost track of him! Ash! We can't let them reach Meraldar! Blast them apart! It was a nice reference to when Varian jumped off the ship and, uh, like, cut into the Fell Reaver right before he died? Obviously, Anduin's not dead. That would be silly.
The darkness hungers. Let's give Zalatath's forces a taste of their own shadows. We've beaten them back! Let's get Anduin! Hold on! We don't know what's down there. Reinforcements are on the way. We could wait- We'll lose his trail! You're right! Let's make those monsters pay for everything they've done! Did I see one of the Heron here? Was that what I saw? Brace yourselves! I was wondering if we were going to see any of the Heronir at all, like, in this patch. And I think we just segued directly into Ashka Hetman's story. It's a pretty seamless transition, that's what I mean, How I, I feel like the MSQ was designed to be played straight through. Damn it all, we were too hasty, and now my people are paying the price. We were fools to think the Nerubians wouldn't be prepared for an incursion. Arathi soldiers are made of stern stuff, but even they will struggle to walk off an airship crash. A beacon okay, in the we dark. have somebody attacking us here. Greetings, outsider. Uh, there was a quest we did not grab. 
We will find Zalatan. And it would survive the sw that swarm. I do not doubt that for a moment. Even so, the Nerubians are everywhere, and he is just one man. Wherever he goes, wherever he is taken, I will find him. Find me any sign that he yet lives. That is all I need to follow him to Azeroth's end. I do not miss. Anduin would not have given up without a fight. He has to be down there. Bleached bones. Thankfully, none of these appear human. It seems unlikely that Anduin met his demise here. Crumpled lion gulp and the pieces are bent and broken beyond repair. I don't seem able to damage these in any way. <laughs> like, none of my abilities are damaging them, and I don't know why. Yeah, that was really weird. I just couldn't deal any damage. We're looking for a scrap of fabric that just, it simply isn't here. I watched this other player bend down and pick something up, uh, but I, I don't seem to have that. So yeah, I'm not really sure what's going on with that. There's no bugs in the game, just thoroughly tested. I'm gonna, oh, it's hanging from above. Yeah, I just can't see. It's weird, I, this guy came down and he like kneeled down. Though it is but a scrap, the worn threads of this fabric seem familiar. Do you see 
any sign of that woman who saved us? No. But I did find tracks leading south. And there's something foul down there as well. I am on the hunt. A shattered gauntlet and some scraps of cloth, but no corpse. That's good, at least. He's alive and he fought back. Still, it's not much to go on. Most rangers would be understandably stumped. Luckily, I am not most rangers. They will not escape. Be strong. When we crashed, the Nerubians were upon us in an instant. We would have lost nearly everyone we brought with us had someone not intervened. I do not know who or what stepped in on our behalf, but if there is even a shred of hope that we have allies in this place, then we must seize upon it and refuse to let go. Carry the flame. In we need to regroup. There's no time. You find the others. I'll find Anduin. Ashes! She's gone! Whoever saved us earlier clearly isn't a friend to the Nerubians. Seek her out. I'll get everyone to safety. Survived the ambush. Impressive. All right, here we go. Ah, you hail from above. Who are you? Who I am is none of your concern. I've watched you since you and yours started trekking through the depths. I think you have a good heart, and I think you'll understand the threat that this black blood seems to pose to our world. For now, that will have to be enough. I'm not at liberty to say more. Uh, black blood, what is that? It is what you see before you, blood of ancient enemies that has coalesced deep within the earth. This black blood was dislodged when the world itself suffered a grievous wound. It has been spreading ever since. It is dangerous. So it's the blood of the old gods, uh, and it was dislodged when Sargeras stabbed the planet. I shall watch for you. You have come far, stranger. Perhaps we'll meet again, while I'll guide you well. Truthfully, I don't care what the Nerubians are plotting. They are not the first upstart people seeking power, and they certainly won't be the last. The problem is how they're going about it. I fear that tampering with this black blood will threaten far more than the delicate ecosystem of Khazalgar. We must make sure that they never return to this pit again. Their equipment is still strewn throughout the pit. Destroy as much of it as you can manage. Do not fear the dark. This is not exactly the place for a long talk, so I will be brief. These roots you see are part of something much greater than you, and it is my job to protect them. If it isn't obvious to you already, this place is teeming with writhing black blood. If we do not act, it will spread deeper and further still. You want allies? Fine. Help me cleanse this place and protect these roots, and I will at least hear you out. The world watch over you. The black blood is dangerous, especially in Nerubian hands. End their efforts here. I will meet you above, if you survive again.
So, you made it out alive. I knew I was right about you. You have shown your true form. Or when that this is forbidden. The black blood spreads deeper every day. We need their aid. We need nothing from them. Enough. We both know our charge. They are of this world, and they too seek to defend it. On higher, she speaks with the song of the world. You know it, as do I. The others will hear of this. At least it will not be the first tradition we have broken. Go, all of you. I will join you soon. So, your path leads you here. May you lend your song to hers. Let nature take its course. My people do not think that this black blood is a threat to our world. It has sat dormant for ages, after all. Why should that change now? But the world is changing more quickly than my people realize. The Nerubians' decision to extract the blood for their own ends is proof of that. The Nerubians hold a watchtower not far from here. The ones who survived the pits could not have gotten too far. We should give chase immediately. Perhaps we'll meet again. Come with me. You need to know what you fight against. Someone was here first. Not a battle. A hunt. The trail runs cold. Check the watchtower. You have found me. The City of Threads. The heart of Ajkahet. Bled dry and dying. None who enter leave in one piece. Your friend is likely dead. But I know you will not accept that. So you follow your path and I will follow mine. You have survived so far. Keep doing so. I hope we meet again. I'm assuming she's a druid. Okay, we have a tiny little cute spider friend. The bizarre creature's eyes remain locked upon you, unwavering. It nudges something towards you, a scroll with a thick seal of violet wax. The words on the parchment appear burned and not written. A venomous tang singes your nose. Blind and alone, you stumble in the dark. I offer you a thread to cling to. Follow it should you wish to find your allies. Okay. Watch and lurk, drudges. There will be no interruptions on Ascension Day. Scurry on, little scarab. Weaver bids you welcome.
Here's the little morsel now. Come in, come in. You are most welcome here. So you followed my guiding line to its terminus. For both our sakes, I am glad that your zeal outpaces your survival instinct. I'll be watching. Make no mistake, I have no intention of sending you off to skitter about in the dark like a freshly hatched beetle. It wouldn't do to have my little morsel snatched up by a starving cave borer. You must educate yourself, my dear. Your allies have found themselves ensconced in a torrid tapestry. Only by familiarizing themselves with its erstwhile architects can you hope to reclaim them. Luckily for you, I have made some of my personal resources available to you. Come back again, little morsel. Do keep in touch. I am the Widow Arachni. For many years, I officially served as the Royal Weaver to Queen Nephorus. Unofficially, I pursued a variety of additional interests. But now my beloved queen is dead, and her daughter has been led astray by a so-called harbinger. I will not allow this creature to usurp our great kingdom for her own ends, but I cannot stop her alone. Our threads will. This harbinger has the entirety of Ashgahed's military at her disposal. Before her arrival, General Anobazal led the kingdom's forces. Ansarek opposed him, in favor of one of the Harbinger's pet ascended. And now the army's ranks teem with those corrupted wretches. May the Weave favor you. The Ascendant are the Harbinger's gift to Ansarek. A fierce contingent of violent hunter-killers made by the Harbinger in the darkest depths of the city's transformatory. They are impossibly strong, and I have no army of my own. If I am to reach Ansarek and dispose of the Harbinger, then I will need to find a way to subvert her military might from within. Follow your thread, Morsel. Even if we do not engage the Harbinger directly, a more subtle approach will prove equally as difficult. What I need is an ally in Ansarek's inner circle. Someone who can come and go without suspicion. The denizens of the burrows speak of a vizier, some manner of patriot who works from within the Queen's walls. He would do nicely if only I knew his identity. At last, our threads entwine. Oh, I'll remember you. You have endured quite the evening since your ill-fated little ship ride, haven't you? Worry not, little morsel. You will find that my friends here are most accommodating, even to someone with your predilections, as strange as they may be. Please take a moment to explore, avail yourself of my, of my many amenities. With luck, you will find some sorely needed rest. Oh, but do take care not to move about too quickly. Sudden movements, I'm sure you understand. Follow you. You must be quite tired. Take a moment, familiarize yourself with your surroundings, and no doubt you have questions for me as well. <gasps> the Weave has delivered a customer. What is this? Hit the road! 
Hey there, Overcrawler. You looking, you're looking more than a little out of your element. You get run over by an airship or something? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Take it from one outsider to another. If you're going to survive down here, you're going to need to learn the rules of the road. Gold's all well and good where you come from, but down here you gotta, you're got you going to need cash and lots of it. On your way. Okay. I've heard much about you. A little weave rat tells me that an intriguing series of events are playing out to the north. It seems there's been a remarkably coincidental waterfall of failures marring the military efforts there. I want to know who is responsible. Look into it for me and see if your curiously binary eyes can pluck out any potential allies. Some of your little friends are among the escapees drawing the ire of one Zev Kal. Do go catch up. Tell them the weaver bids them greetings. May there is no gift more valuable than information, my little morsel. Now shoot. Friend, you weren't followed, were you? My faith kindles my hope. We thought we were well hidden. Clearly not as hidden as we would have liked, but I am grateful to see you nonetheless. Don't give in to fear. Despite everything. We found we these prisoners fleeing joy. a nearby Nerubian military base. The circumstances of their escape are unclear even to them. As if someone else created the opening they needed to escape. They need rest, but we need to find out what happened in there. Food first. Maybe once they've regained some of their strength, they'll remember something. A meal should offer some strength and comfort. After A simple stew made food. from hearty ingredients, filling, comforting, and lacking salt. Why lacking salt? The guards near us were arguing about new orders. Then they just walked off. A solvent was knocked over and dissolved the webbing of our cages. How fortunate. One man insisted on staying behind. Finn, Fring. Might want to get the madman before the venom does. I will see you through the shadow. These people have been through so much. Civilians, not even soldiers. Most of them didn't sign up for this, and yet they became prisoners of war. If anything back at the Nerubian base could give us an advantage, we have to take In it. In my heart, there is fire. If someone got left behind, we need to do something about that. I hate to say it, but these people need someone to protect them here. I have to stay. Find this str straggler, and while you're at it, take a peek behind enemy lines. See if you can find anything useful. If you madmen or no, I won't stand for a single soul being left behind. Go find him. Message received. It now, is Flynn. You spider, you'll blow my cover. <laughs> wow. You over here. And All right. Stay low. I like Flynn. That's really unexpected for them to bring him back, but I like it. I also like the precedent it sets for bringing back characters that have been abandoned in prior expansions. Ahoy! Ask Flynn why he stayed behind. I was looking around trying to find an antidote to being a bit stabbed with a venomous dagger. When that little spider with the bell found me, it came with a note from someone called the Weaver. The Weaver wants anything I can find. In exchange, she has the antidote to this burning venom waiting for me. I'm very motivated. The heat is eating a hole through my shoulders, so I'm looking for something about other captives. Invasion plans, weaknesses, anything. 
Not to mention they took some of my personal effects that I wasn't willing to leave without. I'm not sentimental about gifts, but Shaw knows blades. I want them back. Don't look back. Damn, am I thirsty. Spiders, spiders everywhere. My orders were clear. And yet, more overcrawlers regularly slip from our grasp. Failure! Unacceptable! Not only does this shame you, it shames me. Which means no one will hear of it. <laughs> Clean up this refuse and get it out of my sight. And if you breathe a word of this to anyone, you're next. Ah, what's the word? I definitely had everything under control, but I'll admit this venom is dulling my otherwise lightning quick reflexes. Watch your back out here. Even with the general gone, it's not going to be easy to get out of here. This place is infested. I know I'm hiding it well, but I'm not exactly feeling my best. I'm not sure I'll be much help in this state. You're going to have to clear a path for us. Let's get out alive. I'm all ears. And strategic edge. To add insult to injury, they disarm me. I'm not leaving without those blades. While we're looking, keep an eye out for any evidence of what's going on here. Anything that could give us an advantage against the Nerubians. Something strange happened that provided us the opening to escape. I have a feeling that could be something we can exploit. Watch. I need my weapons. And something for this weaver so she'll give me an antidote. Since I like being alive. Seems that Zev Call fellow we saw is getting pheromones sent to him? From a general? No idea what that means, though. Looks like my fellow prisoners escaping was no coincidence. These orders came from a Nerubian. A new bazaar. I'll take those. Feeling more like myself already. acquainted with that particular bottle of venom. Unfortunately. <sighs> What's the word? Spiders, spiders everywhere. I cannot Falter. It is easy to answer it. My 
my queen. I failed. Oh. Damn, am I thirsty. Don't look back. Hmm, this Anu Bazal gave the orders that led to the prisoner's escape. Zev Kal here didn't seem very pleased with that. So how about this? You sneak into Siege Hold and make best friends with Anu Bazal. Easy. I've noticed a lot of cargo being ferried over. I'm sure no one would notice if we just swapped out the contents of a particular crate. In the meantime, I'll share our discoveries with the Weaver. I'd love to come with you, but I'd rather not tempt more Flynn stabbings today. Let's We've got a plan now. Sneak into a crate and get a lift to Siegehold. Find this Anubazal. Meanwhile, I'll get this intel to the Weaver and get that antidote. What an interesting delivery. Everyone, return to your duties, now! Approach, intruder. I am General Anub Azal. I loathe having little bipeds like you in the siege hold. However, that is no longer up to me. Zebkal is pushing me out of my own military stronghold and collecting overcrawlers to boot. The Queen has deemed him High General, but he is unnatural, warped, and unfit. This will not stand. I have decided to use you and your King, your kind, against Zevkal, and yes, you will get something out of it. Search that rubbish pile there, you will see. <laughs> Gazlo's here. Bilgewater is on the job. I'm hiding here. I know you're alive. The question is, are you useful? You are far from home. There, I have extended some goodwill. You have a little goblin friend. I know how much your kind clings to each other for warmth. And now you both will do things for me. First, I will provide you with my pheromone scent mark. It will keep my loyal soldiers from attacking you. It marks you as mine. Okay, great. He puked on us. Why are these pheromones so gross? Your friend complains, but my mark will keep you relatively safe, except from Zevkal's guards. They won't care about scent marks if they already if they are already hostile to me. Zevkal has recently placed his own loyal lackeys in key positions around Siegehold. Killing them will force replacements, which will cause chaos and retraining. All of which will make Zevkal struggle. Get rid of all three. And general admission, it isn't enough to inconvenience Zevkal, he should be humiliated. 
I already have some information, but I need more. He stores military logs in a room that is too tiny for me to access. See what information he's hiding. I'm sure there's potential blackmail material in there somewhere. Eliminating Zeb calls black eases, but the first move. Blackmail will be the death blow. Okay. I'm gonna salvage what I can here. Throw together an explosive or two. Alright. Guys, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna take a break right here for today. This zone seems really interesting. I guess I kind of knew that we'd be working with and for Nerubians. I just wasn't sure like how that would be phrased, how it would come about. But yeah, it's been fun so far. So far, I'm interested to see more about the Haranir. Uh, I'm really interested in them. Looking forward to the day they become a playable race. Uh, probably not in this first patch, but maybe in a future patch. And I'm curious to see like where we go with the Nerubians, if some of these guys become like permanent allies. You know, maybe in the future we get a Nerubian playable race. Wouldn't that be cool? Alright, until next time guys, thank you all very much for joining me on this journey. I truly do appreciate it. Take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back here again sometime very soon. Bye for now.